Hey friends, Teacher Rachel here, and this week um, we have finished the alphabet. We did letter Z already, so we are moving on to doing um, a series of books by a specific author, and that author is Eric Carl. I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen this book or, or read this book, The Very Hungry Caterpillar. We're going to be doing The Very Hungry Caterpillar and many, many more books over the next couple of weeks, and we're going to be doing some activities that go along with a few of these books. So as this is The Very Hungry Caterpillar, um, we're going to be doing some caterpillar and butterfly activities this week. Um, so in your materials bag you should have gotten a cup of red paint, red paint and green paint, as well as um, a toilet paper tube um, and a piece of paper. You might also want to have um, some markers on hand or um, some paint brushes um, to use with this. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making a caterpillar. So caterpillars are made up, well, this particular caterpillar is gonna be made up of circles. Um, caterpillars have lots of different um, feet and um, they, are, they tend to be kind of long and skinny like worms, but they have little legs. And so our Very Hungry Caterpillar, um, you have red and green. If you have other paints at home, please feel free to use them. You don't have to just use these colors. This is just what we sent home. So, and you don't have to make a caterpillar. If you feel like making something else using this circle shape, or if you just wanna make, um, use your fingers or use a paintbrush. Um, this is just for you to have fun with it. So I'm gonna start out by dipping um, my toilet paper tube into the red um, and making a red ring for his head. There we go. There, see, made a perfect circle. How cool is that? Oh, so I'm gonna put the red aside. And when that dries, I'm gonna use some markers probably to draw some antennas, um, but I could probably draw his little eyes. I'm gonna give mine a little black eyes. And a little black nose, maybe a little smile there. And so now I'm gonna take, um, I have a different toilet tube or tube because this I have this little tiny one. If you wanna cut it in half, because that'll be easier if you just wanna dip one side and dip the other side, that also works too. Um, so this one's a little bit messed up, but um, I kind of like the fact that it's kind of oval shaped for his body because if you, you look on here, his body pieces um, look kind of ovalish. Um, so I'm just gonna roll with it. Remember, it's no big deal to your caterpillar. You can do it however you want. There's one. Let's see. Did we tear this one thing out? I kind of like how the circle isn't totally finished. Do you see that? I kind of dig it. It adds a little bit of character, I think. All right. Let's see. How many circles did I use? All right, I have one red circle, and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven green circles. Although they're not really circles so much as ovals, um, but I really like how my caterpillar is coming along. Um, let's see, I think I want to maybe give him little red feet. I can use my paint, and maybe I'll just use my finger. I'm gonna use my little finger and just give him a little boop red feet. What do you think? I like it. Ta -da. There. I dig it. So he's got little red feet and then I can take my green marker, you can take a brown marker, you can take some other paint, whatever you want to use. Got leftover pipe cleaners would be awesome and I'm gonna give him some little antennas. And there, there is my little caterpillar. I would love to see what your guys look like. So feel free to send me lots and lots of pictures and let me know how you liked it. Um, if it's not a caterpillar, I'd still like to see it. I'd love to check out what art you made. Um, so hopefully I'll get some of those pictures. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.